Well, it's uh, not quite noon. I'm pulling out, heading to the Mumbles Man's, pick up the Mumbles Man. We're going to the bay. We were going to the land of Nala, but we changed our mind. It's been so poor down there. But there was some gold found down there yesterday, I think. Jim and Gina found a nice gold pendant. One of them hearts, you know, they cut in half. I think it was 14K. And a piece of silver. So we were excited for a few minutes, but the rest of the reports were bleak, so we're headed to the bay. Down by the cave, but just uh, west of the cave, about a half a mile. Maybe three quarters of a mile. I'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, here we go. There's a flu right there. West of the cave. Tide's supposed to get off really good today. And better tomorrow. And really super, super low on Tuesday. But it's supposed to rain bad Tuesday. Mmm, looks pretty good. Yep, Mr. It, Mr. Mumbles Man. That's it, dark spot right there. Yeah, deep there. I can't get in there until the tide gets off a little. Stand by. Well, we'll give this new T-Rex a sound. Got some old... Uh-oh. Nope. In about an hour, that ought to be dry right there. He's got his wetsuit on. I just got on them uh, boots I bought. Uh-oh, we got a hit. See what it is. 819. Let's give this baby a try. See how this little scoop does. Goes in the sand good. I like that part. This is jumping a little bit now. It's way too deep. Be in China in a minute. I'm out of there. Stand by until I get it out. Well, I got 15 scoops off of it. I ain't got it yet. But it's gone. The iron sound there now. Minus five, minus six. We're just gonna have to give up on that, baby. No T-Rex action. Now we got a 13. Jumped up to 15 now. Solid 13, 14. Come on. Finally. Let's see what we got over here. See how this thing sifts. Little holes on the shift, good. Pull tab. The first pull tab with the uh, T Rex. A screaming 24. Twenty-five out. Looks like a, a dime, maybe. No, it's a penny. 
25. Modern penny. Damn. One never knows. GoPro. That? Looks like it's still go K. Oh yeah, it's like in that case. No water, That's something you find right there, buddy. That's two or three hundred bucks you got there. GoPro four. Yes, sir, re Bob. <laughs> Can't beat that ticket. I think I'll put that I'll put that in here and instead of in the bag. That's the best find of the day so far. <laughs> yeah. I found much. It was laying right on top. Yeah. I don't know if I recorded that twice or not, but that's, you can't get rid of that sand, you see it? Well, weighs on five pounds extra. I thought I had a target here. That's the reason I stopped. A seven. Stand by. Let me stick it out right here. <laughs> Looks like almost like new, don't it? Can't be very old. Well, I haven't found one of these in a long time. Toothpaste top or paint, I think it's paint. A uh, tube of paint top. There used to be a lot of artists back here in the 40s and 50s that painted through their t stuff in the, in the bay. We used to find a lot of them. Got a pretty solid 15 here. One scoop down, that wasn't bad. I can get it in the scoop, that is. We got it, finally. See that damn sand on there? Can't get rid of that sand, save your life. Oh, it's a nice Bud Light. Our second bottle cap of the day, Bud Light. I like to have one right now, I know that. Nine, solid. like it anymore. I think it's junk. Too deep. Oh, I see it now. Oh, 
Yeah. You found anything decent today or what? iPhone. Be in the water. iPhone. Oh, you found a phone. We find a lot of them. They ain't no good once the water hits them, already. Depends how new they are. New, yeah. newer, newer ones are pretty waterproof. No shit. You ain't found no rings or no nothing like that? Sinker. Sinker. <laughs> My buddy found a camera down there a minute ago. Oh, is he out here today, too? Yeah. What's the most valuable thing you've ever found? <laughs> yeah, list ain't too long. You never could. I could never tell you. <laughs> I found a twenty-seven thousand dollar ring. I found two or three, four, five, six thousand dollar rings. <laughs> I had to give it back. Is that a new camera? No. It's a it's newer one. In, it's a newer one than what you got. How you making that? Nothing. Painting a nickel and some I got I got something that looks like <clears throat> it looks like a ring and a clump. But I think it's a piece of pipe or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Weekend's free. No money in there, huh? Probably not gonna be able to get much for that though. I can barely hear it now. I had something like that too. Alright, you must be in here. Last target of the day. I didn't know. I see something shiny right there by your foot. Something right there shiny. No, it's. I'll take one more scoop out of it. It's a real it's a low tone. It's only there once in a while. It's, I'm in discrimination though, so I've given up on it. Maybe it's my basket. It's my basket. Well, I'm home. Chris is out walking the dogs. I got a minute, I'm gonna talk about something. These right here are what I refer to as wheels. Right here, wheels, okay? They only get one set of these wheels. And I told you this before, we have to take care of them, make them feel good. Wear good shoes, inserts. Well, you know, I bought a pair of these four, five, six months ago. They are by far the most comfortable boot I have ever put on my two wheels. Unbelievable. I'm so, I'll be 76 in a couple months. And I've been a commercial fisher most of my life, so I wore a lot, a lot of different boots in 50 or 60 years. But these right here, I'm telling you, they are some fancy tickets. They do have one drawback, they've got steel toes in them or steel shank somewhere. So if you get your real close to it when you hit them, you get a little beep. I modify them a little teeny bit. I wear these in most of my shoes. I wear them in my dive boots. These are old. I think I showed you these before too. You heat these up in the oven for so many minutes at a certain temperature and you just stick your foot inside your shoe and it molds to your foot. Well, I tell you, they're nice. They're old, but I, they're still nice. But you gotta take care of your wheels, guys. You ain't gonna get no more wheels. It's like my cataracts. You don't get no eyes. You just gotta get them a tune-up once in a while. I'll see it. Put a round up. Well, I got the cover off the iPhone. Looks like it's in good shape, but I imagine the battery's dead. I got the little card out where the SD card would go, the little doodad thing. 
But there's no SD card in there. Well, I guess we'll never know who the phone belongs to. Unless it happens to come on, if I let it dry a little bit and, char and then put the charger on it, we'll see how it goes. I'll put it in some of my rice. I had about five more bottle caps than that. A fuse, a little screw, one gray matter, two pennies, one dime. I don't know what that is. A little doodad. Paint, iPhone of some sort. That's it. I got the rice right here. I'm getting ready to stick her in there. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, I hope. Good luck to everybody. Hi, Boo Boo. Boo Boo says hi. He's a camera hog. <laughs>